No fear. I'm not afraid to be off the track. Whoa, what the? Go, 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 go. Where am I? What is this? Guys, am I on a track anymore? I'm in someone's house. Is this legit? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Link Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Nintendo classic known as Excite Bike 64. This game came out 16 years after the original game. The original Excite Bike was 1984, and this game is now, what is it, uh, like, well, 18, 19 years old now. I mean, this is an old game, man. An old game. Um, it's crazy how how fast games have aged. I mean, the original Excite Bike is like now like 30 years old, which is insane. I still remember playing that game when it first came out. It was one of the first Nintendo games I ever played. Um, my dad borrowed his girlfriend's brother's NES, and he had like three games. It was like Metroid, Mario Duck Hunt, and Excite Bike. And I remember playing the original Excite Bike. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in here to the N64 remake or sequel or whatever you'd call it. Obviously, as you can see here, we're going to be enjoying some sweet polygon action here. So the original Excite Bike was a 2D affair. Obviously, it came out on the good old NES, and the NES could not render polygons. Not a single damn polygon. Um, although, I'm sure someone in the comments is going to point out that there was actually a Nintendo game that showed a polygon. Whatever. It wasn't common for it to do so. Um, but obviously, in the N64 era, everything was polygons. Polygons for breakfast. And so uh, they decided, hey, let's make uh, Polygon's Excite Bike game and, and make some money here. So I already hopped into this game and checked out the tutorial section. And let me tell you that this game has a lot of echoes of the old NES game. Um, so one of the defining features of the old NES game is you had a normal accelerate and then you had like a turbo that would overheat your engine. That's still here, guys. Um, you can also clip your back wheel onto the front wheel of your opponents and knock them out. That's still here. That was in the original Excite Bike. But beyond that, the game's gotten a hell of a lot more complicated. And I was having trouble even with the tutorial. And in fact, I did not make it through the entire tutorial. I kind of couldn't pass the part where I had to clip an opposing racer. So I got the basics down, but I'm just going to preface this by saying I've never played Excite Bike 64 now, uh, before. And now, today, we're going to jump into it for the first time. So let's go ahead and do a couple of exhibition races. And we're going to keep it at the novice level, um, just to accommodate my severe ineptitude with this game. So this game has a lot of interesting tracks. Maybe we'll work through a handful of these. So uh, Lefty's Mill, it's like Orlando, Florida, Houston, Texas, Kyoto, Japan, and then Lefty's. Oh, Lefty. The, who could forget the memorable, memorable Lefty? And also Mountain Quarry. Let's go ahead and try each of these races once. We're gonna go ahead and start in Japan, which is of course where Nintendo comes from. So what suitable, what more suitable place could we have it? in Japan. So we'll go ahead and jump into Japan. We're going to go ahead and play this one player because we don't need uh, we don't need the thrill of competition to have fun in games, guys. So you can switch your rider, switch colors of your bike if you want. It's pretty cool. So you can like cycle through the different colors here. Kind of like red. Okay, let's look at this guy's statistics. Landing, cornering, jumping, and turbo all look pretty good. He's the, the everyman, basically. Jumping Jim Rivers. Whoops. And I think I might have just selected him. Oh no, I went back. Um, it turns out I can't select any other racers. I guess you gotta unlock these people. So we're gonna go ahead and just be jumping Jim Rivers because it turns out that's really um, all we can all we can do. Or wait, no, there we go. Oh, I was using the the C pad. Okay, Tricky Ricky Stern. Well, look at him. He has really crappy turbo, but he does everything else like a boss. Then we have Sarah Sugar Hill. Do, do they all have like nicknames in quotation marks? It, is it like a necessity? Is, is it necessary to be a dirt right bike, a dirt bike rider, to have earned like a sassy nickname? Um, we, then we got big, big dog, D big dog Malone. I like him. He sucks at everything except turbo. Then we got Duke York, the Duke. The Duke is also good at turboing. I guess he's better at jumping than big dog. Hmm. Then we got uh, Vicky the Vixen. Oh, I like the sound of that. Okay, we gotta give each of these guys a shot. Let's just go ahead and let's let's start with the the average guy, and we'll see how how things play out after that. Jumping Jim Rivers, press the A button to continue. Yes, I think I will. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with Jumping Jim. 
We got some some sweet rap music to serenade us into the dirt bike, and Jumpin' Jim's giving us a preview of moves so sweet you know that they couldn't have come from me. No, our actual playthrough will be a little rougher than this, but that's okay, guys. We're on our quest to play through the book 1001 Games to Play Before You Die. Part of that quest in, in, entails playing games you've never played before. I mean, if you ever go on a gaming quest of, of your own, you're definitely going to encounter games you've never played before, and you're going to have to just... Oh, we wiped somebody out. I like that. And you're just going to have to tough it up and, and figure out how to do things. Okay, so I slid into the wall a little too aggressively there. i got to get my hand over the R button. The R button on the, NE, uh, on the N64 controller here is how you do this, a slide like this. Oh, and we're, we're slipping and sliding all over the track. Okay, time for the turbo. we got to up, up the engine temp because we got to catch up to some fools here. Whoa, our temperature is a little too high. Um, we were in first very briefly. How did we end up now in fifth? Come on, come on, jumping Jimmy! Jumping Jimmy's earn, earns a living with jumping. Whoa! Don't jump off the course though, bu buddy. Stay on. No, turn, turn, you fool! Jumping Jimmy does not follow directions. Whee! So there's, as I say, this game is a lot more complicated than the original Excite Bike. To be totally honest, like, my comfort level with racing games taps out at, like, the original Excite Bike anyway. Um, you know, I, I, I just like a couple of buttons, like left, right, up, down, I don't mind that. Uh, an accelerate and a turbo button, that's all good. I feel like that's a good, that's a good level of sophistication. This game has accelerate, turbo, you hold back when you go over jumps, you hold the R button to do a slide move. Oh! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Thank God we finished the race because we fell off the track. So there's slide, accelerate, turbo. There's like a boost button when you go over jumps. It's It's got some, there's some sophistication here. And this game is a lot about timing your buttons at the correct time. And you can even do like a power slide for really tight corners and stuff. So, yeah, I will say that um, I feel like the sophistication here is a little above my skill level, but at the same time, as I was going through the tutorial section, I kind of felt like this is a racing game where, like, it relies on you pressing the right buttons at the right time. So, you know, as opposed to something like, um, like, you know, just some, some more typical racing game where all you really need to do is know where to position your car and when to kind of slide break around turns, and you can do all right. This one's got a little more, you know, sophistication than that. So it... It is kind of like a game that I could have seen myself getting into as a kid, and as you learn all the little tricks to it, you would get significantly uh, better. So, yeah, it's a, it's a complicated racing game, I would say. It's on, it's on like the upper end of complicated. Like, if we think back to Wave Race 64, it was really the analog stick and accelerate. That was all you needed. Whereas this one, it's got like uh, four buttons, which I <laughs> can't believe I'm complaining about four buttons. Has it really gotten to that point, guys? But yeah, it's got four buttons, and each of them is important, and you have to hit them in the right order and so on. So we got third with Jump and Jimmy. Let's go ahead and let's mix it up here. Um, let's go with the Vixen. I feel like we're, we're subtly moving our way over to Mad Dog. Maybe we'll do Big Dog. We'll do Big Dog next. Let's start with the Vixen. She's a little worse on landing, but a little better on turbo, so we're going to be turboing aggressively. Vicky the Vixen. She's got those baggy 90s pants, so like kind of like bell-bottom jeans almost, as was the fashion at the time. Now, I do know that this game was heralded as a really sweet uh, successor to Excite Bike, the original Excite Bike, because it has like a really good feel to all the bikes and the physics. And I think that that is something that I pro is probably lost on me, but I did want to mention it as something, you know, if you guys are looking for like a racer, and you're kind of watching this video thinking, oh, maybe I should try that game out. Oh, we got wiped out. What the hell? How dare he? Who did that to me? Because you're going down. Oh, I got wiped out again. Oh, they're picking on Vicky. They're picking on Vicky. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, we got to we gotta cool this engine down, man. Or just go full speed for the acceleration. For the turbo, yo! Oh God, we're 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 like barely holding on to fifth, and we're probably about to lose it. If I'm being totally honest. Oh yeah, we did. 
We're, we, things started off rough for old Vic here, but I have a feeling that uh, they're about to pick up speed. And yeah. So yeah, anyway, the, the physics of this game have been heralded as, you know, a very positive selling point. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of tracks in this, a lot of racers, and so as as a racing game for its time, it actually had a lot going for it. Also, another little interesting bit of trivia: you can unlock the original Excite Bike. You can unlock the NES version of Excite Bike in this game, which I love when developers do that. It's such like a fun little nod to fans. I mean, like, it's not like you can really make much money off Excite Bike anymore. Although that said, you know, Nintendo with their virtual store has found a way to basically resell us all the classics that we loved as a kid. And yes, I'm guilty of purchasing uh, games from their virtual store that I literally, that l literally are on my shelf looking at me right now. I don't know why I wanted a digital copy of the same game, uh, but I guess I did, so. Uh, maybe there is money, maybe, maybe Excite Bike's day hasn't passed yet. Maybe you can still mine some money out of that. But uh, I guess there wasn't. They didn't think about that in the 90s, and they they done goofed, and they put the original NES Excite Bike game into the N64 game, which you know whatever. I I, I like that they did that. Um, and actually, I have decided that this Saturday, 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 only on Gaming Jay's channel, we're gonna be playing the original Excite Bike. You know, as I was doing the research for this game. I was thinking, ah, oh, you know, like another N64 racer, like, I'll give it a shot, I'm, I'm, I'm typically, oh, we totally wiped out there. Uh, I, as I was saying, I'm typically not amazing at these games, but I do like giving them a shot and like trying them and doing my best. Um, but what I really would prefer to play is the NES Excite Bike, and so I think, you know, I gotta give that, I, I gotta give that a shot. So that's gonna be coming up on Saturday, guys, so if you're watching this video thinking, oh, Excite Bike. If only it were the NES version. Well, I have a treat for you. And it is... I've already told you what it is. It is the thing that you want, so... Why are we still talking about it? Um, <laughs> now, what else does this game have going for it? Let's stop talking about n the old NES video game. Start talking about the game that we're actually playing. Whoa! No, we're going into the river! We're going into the river the wrong way. Okay, turns out I suck with Vicky. Wait, this, this, is, this playthrough is all going to be about... Big Dog saving the day. I think Big Dog has the warrior within him. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and fully overheat our engine. And, are we, okay. So I guess your engine always kind of operates at like low yellow. It never gets down into like the nothing. All right, so fourth place. We're, we got progressively worse with this. Anyway, another interesting thing about this game is it has a desert track that you can unlock. And the desert track apparently is, in quotations, fractally generated, like fractals. And what that means is basically it's sort of just procedurally generated and basically means it's like a Minecraft world where once you load up the level, you can explore it endlessly. There's no boundaries to it. And actually, we'll take a quick look before I end this playthrough to see if I have that level. It might be something that you have to unlock. I'm pretty sure the NES version of Excitebike is something you have to unlock in this game. And I definitely won't be unlocking it here. So when we play it on Saturday, it'll be a different version of the game. But okay, let's go ahead and hop in here. Um, the stunt system, the jumps in this game. So if you do know the original NES Excite Bike, the jumps should look very familiar. Um, they're very, they were designed to sort of mimic the jumps that you saw in the original Excite Bike. And of course, that was designed to mimic real dirt biking. So, you know, um, everything, everything has a... Has a connection here. Okay, we're going with Big Dog, and then I think we're gonna try Tricky Ricky. Cause I like that. So we're gonna Bobby Big Dog Balloon. Rough. He's a big dog and a big boy. Although he doesn't look that big. And actually, his special move is Turboing. So maybe he's a very skinny big dog. He's very light. Um, he's not skilled in anything but Turbo. Which, when they rank you, if they say you have bad handling, bad landing, bad skills, but your turbo is high, that's they're literally now complimenting your bike, not you. Like, it's not like Big, big Dog has nothing going for him. If you put a more skilled driver on the bike, you'd still have the high turbo. It's not like he's, oh, he's pulling the turbo lever in such a skillful way that he's getting extra turbo. No, he just has a good bike. So basically, Big Dog here, he's the rich, he's the rich kid. Of the uh, of the Excite Bike 64 world. Oh, big dog! Turbo, turbo, turbo! I'll be big dog balloon. 
I got an appetite, boys. Oh, I knocked that guy off. Sweet, I guess I can do it. Whee! Come on, big dog. If I can place with anyone, it's gonna be big dog. And what am I? I'm second, holy crap. I'm second. Yeah, big dog. Big dog. Oh my god, how did, what happened there? I, I was doing well. Yo! Now I'm off the course. Now uh, but I'm third. That's not bad. Jeez, big dog is fast. Oh, come on, I was jumping for the finish line. I was trying to sort of uh, circumvent the whole track there. Oh god, big dog! <laughs> He's just ricocheting from wall to wall at this point. Well, we can we can console ourselves with the knowledge that at one point we were first. Oh man, we're we're second? Man, Big Dog, he's got some recovery in him. I'm not playing well with him, but he certainly recovers like a big boy. Yeah! Yeah, Big Dog! Okay, here we go, here we go! Whoa! Ah! On Big Dog! Oh my god, I can't believe if I place with Big Dog. That's like an achievement, guys. Oh, he fell into like construction equipment, I think. Oh no, I don't think we're placing. I think third is the best we can hope for in this game. Even on the novice setting, I'm, oh! I think I, that's like the second or third time I've wiped out of that exact corner. No, but the, the third place guy must have wiped out too because he's like right beside me. Uh, go big dog. Lap three. How many laps are there? I think there's only three. So it's like I gotta pull it. It's now or never time, people. You guys believe in me? You believe I could do it? I, I don't blame you if you don't, but I'm just asking. It's more of a rhetorical question, really. Oh, no! no. <laughs> okay, come on. I can see the second place guy. He's, like, taunting me. Imagine racers in real life had, like, this their place, like, hovering above their head. Like, second, third. It's like a, a red flag to a bull. Just, like, tempts you. You can, like, see them. Look, I, I'm, I'm tempted by that guy. He's, like, right in my line of sight. Come on! Get off the wall, big dog! Oh, you fool! Once you once you hit the wall in this game, it like it like sucks you in. It's hard to describe. Third place. Big dog's ashamed by that performance. Let me tell you guys. But uh, yeah. Um, there's a track editor, by the way, in this game, which again is another feature that sort of was inherited from the old NES version of the game. I mean, the NES version. I keep talking about it. I guess, you know, it's it's a lost cause to try and focus only on this game. But the NES version, one of its highlighting features, one of the things that made it so cool is you could build your own tracks. And you would often build these, like, crazy stunt tracks. Um, this game has that, too. I mean, obviously, being an Excite Bike game, it needed to have uh, a level editor. But uh, I feel like any racing game that had a track editor when I was a kid made me love it that much more. Like, I was really into this old DOS game called Stunts, or Stunt. Um, not Stunt Racer, but I think it was just called Stunt. And it had, um, like, all sorts of crazy things that you could add to the track, like loop-de-loops and, like, giant jumps and stuff, and you could race around in F1 Formula One cars and stuff. Not, not like a... Or, or, yeah, I guess they are called F1 cars. I was thinking F15. I was like, not racing in jets, but no, yeah, like an F1 Formula car, you can race in those, and also, like, Corvettes and stuff. So it was a pretty fun game. Um, but yeah, any any game as a kid where I could make my own tracks, I was all for that. Um, I love making tracks. So, who did we say we were going to use, by the way? We are going to use Tricky Ricky. Tricky Ricky. He's got everything going for him except Turbo. Let's see if this can save us. And we're going to race at Lefty's Mill. Lefty likes jamming the rap when uh, random motocross people show up to race. Imagine Lefty like did not approve this race. He just walks outside one day. He's like, what the hell is going on? Who are you people? Back of my shirt says no fear. He's like, Tricky Ricky, what are you doing here? There's some kind of race a jig Whoa, Tricky Ricky. Oh my god, we're in first. I think this happened to Big Dog too. He came into first and then he uh, sort of didn't recover from there. Go, 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 go. Oh, Tricky Ricky! He got tricked. He got tricked off. Tricked off his bike. I got tricked from first to sixth. Is that that's bad, isn't it? Oh my God! There's a lot. Of, you know what though? When you're in last place, there's nowhere to go but up. And we're going up. Ah! Man, it is tricky to steer in this game. 
tricky to steer. Yeah, I think a lot of the a lot of the skill in this game comes from like a certain finesse. Um, I can definitely feel it, like when I'm doing jumps and stuff. I'm like, man, like if I if I was like timing my buttons better and like you know not constantly wiping out. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say in any racing game where you're not doing too well, if you stop constantly wiping out, you can improve. And I, I kind of feel like that's the situation I'm in right now. I, uh, there, there's a lot of complexity to what's going on. may not look it, but it's in the feel of the game. And if I can just master that, maybe I'll do a little better. I mean, I am in third, which for me is like first place. This is like as good as, a, as, good as it gets for old uh, Gaming J, old Tricky J. What would my what would my nickname be? Like let's like, I guess it would be gaming, but that's boring. Like Tricky Ricky, there's uh, Vix, you know Venus the Vixen. What do you guys think my name would be? Like uh, hmm, G uh, man, Jay the Bold or or Jay the Old, one of those. Or how about uh, oh, Faceplant J? Oh God! Oh, and I'm still off. No fear. I'm not afraid to be off the track. Whoa, what the? I found like a shortcut there. And then I injured myself. Go, 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 go. Where am I? What is this? Guys, am I on a track anymore? I'm in someone's house. Is this legit? What's happening? I found like, I found like a shortcut or something. Although it really put me behind. That that's a bad shortcut. That's a really bad shortcut. That was so weird. I was like going through like a barn. And I keep, oh God. I keep doing really poorly and then I like catch up somehow. Now Tricky Ricky is just like, don't look at me. Now that the computer takes over, it races so much better than me. I bet I, bet I embarrass old Tricky Ricky. Maybe all the racers are sitting around like, please don't let Jay pick me, please don't let Jay pick me, please. Oh God, he picked me. Well, I'm losing this race. Although Jim Rivers did come in last, I'm just saying. Somebody raced worse than me. So, you know, think about it. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna finish off our uh, our our tryout here with Orlando, Florida. And you know what? If we lose win or lose, we're going to Disneyland. I think that's what I've decided. Now let's pick a good racer here. Who have we had the best luck with? I think we had the best luck with good old jumpin' Jim Rivers. Tricky Ricky, we didn't do him any favors. Sarah Sugar Hill. We didn't even try her. Maybe we should try her. Uh, the Duke. Yeah, the Duke really just looks like Big Dog. It's the exact same as Big Dog. He's like a little better at jumping and he's even worse at everything else. So let's go ahead and go with good old Sarah Sugar Hill. Sweeter than candy, boys. That's because of her nickname, right? Sugar Hill. Maybe she's, uh, maybe it's like a joke and she's like really mean. They're like, man, you're not sweet at all. You're terrifying. Get in line behind Sarah Sugar Mills. Oh, off. we're just looking at her bike. She's gone. She's in the audience. But we took somebody down, so uh, I'll take it. Now, it is funny how, like, we're going around to, like, all these different, like, locales and stuff. But, like, okay, we're in Orlando, Florida now. This looks like the exact same as, like, Houston, Texas. You know, like, once you get inside, inside this giant dirt warehouse, wherever these dirt bike uh, matches are held, you could literally be anywhere. You could have told me you're in, like, Toronto, Canada. And I would have been like, oh, yeah, it looks like it. I mean, it's just a giant, giant dirt warehouse. Um, actually, where are dirt bike uh, matches held? It's, it's always these giant stadiums, but I never thought about it before. But it literally is, like, mountains of dirt. Is it just a warehouse where they ship in a bunch of dirt? Are there dirt bike stadiums that like have dirt in there all the time? Is this like the Sky Dome? Is it like a baseball field? Um, but they've just like covered it in dirt and hay for some reason. I don't know. Or is it like outdoors? Is it like a big outdoor field of, of, of you know dirt and then they like cover it? I don't know. That's actually, I've, I've never thought of that before. But yeah, like where are dirt bike uh, matches held? I guess I could Google it, but it's more fun asking you guys. Oh, and off she goes again. She just ejects from that. I think your motorcycle has an eject button. Where when there's trouble, she's like, nope. And she hits a button and just like flies off. Because she exits that bike at high speed. Oh my goodness. Get out of the way. All right, here we go. 
We're in third again, which is my first. Sarah Hill dropped back to third place. We just took third place, man. Oh! Come on, the second place guy's right there. Ah! Oh. I guess we're never gonna get better than third. You know what? Third is respectable, I would say. Like, not to brag or anything, but it's a very respectable place. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that, that I did well. I'm gonna rate my performance as like adequate to good. I don't know if you guys agree with that assessment or not. Um, let's go ahead and hop to the main menu and see if we can find the, this desert track. Special tracks. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, in the desert. Oh, in the stunt course. Okay, so we got a few other things to try here. Original Excite Bike. What did I tell you guys? It's locked. No, let me play it. Oh, well, that's what we're going to be playing on Saturday. Let's check out the desert and the stunt course, and then uh, we'll go ahead and start wrapping this uh, game up. But yeah, such a cool idea to like uh, create like a desert that's just endless. So how about let's go with someone who has good jumping, Sarah. Sarah's getting a second go, I think. I'm gonna bring her back out into the wild. Okay, now is there any? I didn't realize we'd be racing against other people. We're just having a, a calm, friendly desert race here. Don't you dare wipe me out. Okay, now, where are we racing to? Guys, do we have an endpoint here? Are we just going forward? Hey, there's a fire. Oh, now we gotta turn around. Interesting. We wanna go this way now? Well, random. So we're kind of like racing without, without a course. Wait, where am I going now? Back this way? Was I supposed to do something with this fire? I think everyone ran around it. I did not. So what do you want me to do here, Arrow? You want me to drive through it? Is this what you want? Oh, we have to collect the fire? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, now we go off this way. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder like if we just raced in a direction, what we would find. I'm gonna say let's do it. Let's forget about the race. We've clearly lost it. We're in sixth and there's no changing that. Let's see what we got out, out this direction. I know we're gonna find something good. I'm expecting like maybe a nice deposit of coal and maybe some iron ore that we can uh, that we can mine. Oh, how do we wipe out when there's no one around? How did we wipe out when there's no one around? That's terrible. But maybe we can mine some coal and some ore. We can create a small little settlement, start a new life. People would be like, "What happened to Sarah Sugar Hill?" And be like, "I don't know. She went for a dirt bike race in the desert, and that was like four months ago. Nobody's seen her since. It's like living a whole new life." Forget about racing! I want to be free! Maybe we could race our way to the ocean. Maybe this isn't the desert, it's just the world's largest beach. Deserts are such a tease like that, eh? Like, it, there's so much sand around. Like, I, I have not been to many deserts in my life, but I've been to a lot of beaches. So in my experience, when you see a lot of sand, you better believe that there's a giant source of water around, like a great lake or an ocean. Like, that's just where I come from. Um, so to be in a real desert, it's like, man, where the hell is the water? It's like, doesn't don't huge bodies of water go along with this? How did all this sand get here? Actually, that's that's an interesting question. How come there's sand in the desert and also in the beach? It's like you know you know where where sand exists, either right beside large amounts of water, or the complete opposite, in the middle of nowhere, so far away from water that you can never find it. Although I think. If my eyes don't deceive me, unless that's a mir mirage in the distance, I think we're getting close to water, guys. I feel it in my bones. Right over this hill is going to be water. What? Oh, it's just more desert. Well, we can race this way forever. Literally. I wonder, there must be some YouTube video online where it's like somebody literally raced for like a day in Excite Bike going in one direction. And I'm sure you don't find, I'm sure it's just more and more of this, but I like, there must be a world record here. Like, how long has somebody driven into the desert in a sink, picked a direction and just decided, I'm just gonna go, just going for it. Do you guys ever do that in real life? Sometimes it's like, you just, you need to drive, you need to clear your head. You're like, I'm just gonna pick a direction and go to see what's over there. I guess maybe when in my younger days, sometimes I would do that. Um, you know, you're like studying all night or something in university. And you're like, oh, I need a break. I just need to get away. And you like pick a direction out of Toronto and just go. Usually it was north because you go west, it's more city. East, it's more city. You go north, you get into like 
not country, but more rurally areas. It's nice to just go out there and see what's out there. Um, not so much these days, though. Yeah, I guess... You know, if we did want to find our fellow bikers, they're probably worried about us. Probably like, man, Sarah, I loved her. She's gone. It's like, it's not like I have a compass. I guess I have this yellow arrow. Actually, actually no, I take it back. I have the perfect compass. It tells me exactly where to go. Okay, well, this this is the, the unlimited level, the level that is designed forever. Fun fact, if you explore this level and then you reset the game and you come back in, it's the same level. So it's like this... This was this level was randomly generated, not randomly, but fractally. I'm um, using fractal patterns to generate this level. So it was generated in a pseudo-random fashion, but it was generated in such a way that like it will generate the same way every time. So I could come back in, explore this level over and over, and I could be like, you know, I remember this mountain. This is Jay's Crest. It's a very nice mountain, nice uh, view up here. You go down, and here's a cactus. You zoom by. There's another cactus over here. I wish there was a little bit more to explore, to be totally honest, but wow, you can do some crazy jumps here. Okay, let's go ahead and we Boom! <laughs> That's how you end the desert level. Let's uh, go ahead and quit, and let's try... Uh, just kidding. No, we really want to quit. It wasn't a joke. All right, let's go ahead and hop back in, and we're going to give the stunt tracks, the stunt course, a, a try. See how this goes. Let's see, who, who's feeling stunty today? Vicky the Vixen, we've been everybody, I guess, but the Duke, so I guess it's the Duke's turn. He's okay on jumping, and he's got great turbo, but he sucks for everything else. All right, Nigel, show me what you got, buddy. Better be something worth it. Three, two, one, go! go! Nigel, Nigel, Nigel! Oh, here we go, jump! Oh, we, uh, we're into the wall. And is there anything in here, or is it just like a dead end? I don't know, I guess you can turn around here. So this is the only level where you, I guess you're not racing against other people. You do stunts, and I don't know how to do stunts, to be honest. Does that count? That was pretty stunty, I would say. I think the stunts is one part of the tutorial I didn't make it to, actually. So I literally don't know how to, like, initiate a stunt. Okay, there we go. Is that a... Oh, wait. Maybe it's the yellow buttons. No, that just changes my camera. Um, that changes, like, the distance. Let's get a wide view of this. So we can see everything that's going on. There must be a way to do this. hey -oh! Didn't do a thing. Okay, well, uh, this, this one is one tutorial level I did not reach. So, uh, it is pretty fun, actually, to go and do these jumps. Um, so, like, Sight Bike 64 here. It is a solid remake of the original Excite Bike. It is definitely a game that, like, if you're into it, it's going to take some practice. You're going to have to... Racing well in this game does require you to, to know when to, when to turbo, when to hold back, when to boost, when to go forward, when to do a turbo in the air, when to slide. And you, you really have to learn the patterns in this game and sort of get good at just reacting. So my big problem when I was playing this, this game, the reason I didn't do well... Is like I would hit a situation situation where I'm like I want to land well, and I have to think, okay, I have to hold backwards when I do the jump, then I have to press R to slide while holding brake, so I gotta let off the acceleration. It's too much for my brain to handle. I needed to automate some of those skills, and that just comes with practice. So if you are into uh, motorbike games, especially the older variety, this game I think has got some stuff to offer you. Um, you're not going to be able to just pick it up and really do well with it off the bat. I, and you do need to work on those tutorial levels. I didn't really show myself playing those for you guys. But I did play it for quite a while to try to brush up and make sure I was ready for this game. So, uh, is this a game that you must play before you die? I don't think it falls in the must play category, but I think it falls under the solid sequels category. So I will say that uh, this is a solid entry in the N64. And though it has some complexity for those willing to put in the time, I think there's a bit of a payoff here. Anyway, those are my thoughts, guys. What do you think of Excite Byte 64? Is it a game you love, a game you hate? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, whether you've enjoyed the game or not, hopefully you've enjoyed hanging out with me. If you have, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell all your friends and family that I exist so we can build the biggest, baddest, coolest crew in town and uh, otherwise have great success. Um, until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves. Remember to come back on Saturday for the NES version of Excitebike. And otherwise, peace. 
Learning how to excite bike. Press A to accelerate. Steer the bike using the left and right on the control stick. Oh, he's off the bike already. <laughs> Pull back on the control stick while turning. Press and hold the R button while cornering to perform a slide turn, countering steering before releasing the R button. Press and hold the B button and the R button to execute a brake turn. Oh, he's Oh, son. Jeez, we're, we're horrible at this. What the? Use the Z button for turbo to get as much speed as possible. Let's hold the control stick back during a jump for more height and distance. Try to adjust your speed over the jumps and land on the downside of slopes. Tap the Z button at the top of the jump to get a turbo boost. Oh, dear God. Am I the worst person at Excite Bike that ever lived?